variety that rocks. 100.5. Cruise FM. Hello, I'm here. Week 11. Um, amazing. Uh, out of 12 weeks, which really now is going to be a little bit extended. Let me explain. I'm on the road to being in the Fort McMurray Firefighters Charities Association annual calendar to help out five local charities here in the Wood Buffalo community. And uh, that is going to be out in the fall at some point. More details to come. Very excited. I know some stuff is happening behind the scenes, but nothing that can be announced just yet focus right now. The focus is on the actual photo shoot. I've got my date booked for late June and then soon after that you're going to be able to see the previews and let us know which ones you think should go into the calendar. For the last 11 weeks I've been on this journey of fitness and nutrition from Cut and Conquer Fitness and they have told me that though the plan is 12 weeks and I've been doing great get support every single week that they're gonna not leave me high and dry you know in those three weeks between the end of this program and then my actual photo shoot where within those three weeks who knows what could happen right I'm not gonna be left to my own devices uh, and I will be sticking to a, a plan they've got something actually set up for me to help me get there uh, to the date and uh, that's so exciting all of it has been so exciting the support has been insane not just from my trainer not just from the Fort McMurray Firefighters Charities Association and the fantastic people behind it, but also I've had strangers let me know that they're like, hey, been watching, been checking out, you look good. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna make me cry in public, man. It's the grocery store, cool off. But, uh, and also friends and, and family members are reaching out and showing their support too. It's been fantastic. Uh, and it's not been an easy journey at all. Temptation of, uh, of convenience is always around the corner, whether it's about what you're gonna eat or whether you're gonna make that workout or not, or how intense are you gonna make that workout. Convenience is always there, ever-present temptation, and uh, you just have to squat it away as best you can, and also make sure that you're resting, and also make sure that you're taking that time, having that treat meal here and there, not completely starving yourself, not in terms of food, because I've been eating lots of food, just, you know, healthy food, and staggered throughout the day to maximize the metabolism. No, I'm talking about not keeping yourself starved as far as experience in life. I've been able to have such fun experiences, went out with friends and, and, and ate the pizza, ate the appetizers, because it was my treat meal night, you know? It's just a little bit of scheduling, but I found that it has actually made it more enjoyable. And uh, who'd have thunk it? A little bit of less is more, right? Where I'm not having the pizza every single week, and then when I do get to it, it's like, oh, I love this, it's so good! It's so insane. Um, and another thing that I'm very happy about is, uh, last week I was telling you about the 25-ish pound mark. I am officially past that now. I have dropped more than 25 pounds in these 11 weeks. Now, admittedly, a little bit ashamed when I first started this thing. A little bit self-conscious, really, let's call it that. Uh, where I reported that I was 240 pounds, 240. And that's because I was over 240, but less than 250, you know? And I was like, ugh. It makes me feel better to just not say those extra pounds are there, but they were. I know it was on the scale, and I know it's on the scale now, and I know that I'm past 25 pounds, and I love that. And it's been a steady progress of about one or two pounds lost every week, which sounds slow. And I mean, it is, but it's a long-term gain thing, right? You're not gonna gain anything by elastic banding yourself down and then switching right back, because your body's like, hey, that was a weird period, but let's go back to what we consider normal. You have to change what your body, and not just your body, your mind's state of normal is too. That's what I've been learning. But I have so much to learn still. The journey's still going. The photos haven't been taken yet. It's all coming down the pipe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for being here for the whole thing. And one more update for week 12 is coming. And then it's photo shoot time soon after that.